Hi everyone, Christina here, and I'm so excited today because I'm gonna be sharing with you how to make three different salsa recipes that will blow your mind. I'm gonna be sharing with you how to make one that is sweet, one that is savory, and one that is creamy and spicy. Salsas are great to use as dips, dressings, sauces, and more. Whether you wanna just sit in front of the TV and dip some romaine boats in your salsas or whether or not you have company coming over and you wanna just put something in the middle of the table and allow people to snack on something while they're waiting for their main course to come. Salsas for me can be used in so many different ways. They're multifunctional and it's just necessary, I think, to have some good ones in your back pocket that you can make at any time that you will love and that everyone you know will fall in love with too. So today we're making a sweet mango pineapple salsa. We're also gonna be making a hot picante salsa and a creamy guacamole green pepper salsa. I've been enjoying these salsas recently over and over again because I've been recipe testing them for you and when I say that they are immaculate and they're just so mouthwatering, trust me. I've been using these as salad dressings every night and they're just perfect. Before we jump into this video, I just wanna say that I've added these three recipes into my recipe app for you. So for those of you who'd like to reference these on a handheld device or on your mobile devices, you can download my Fully Raw Recipe app. I have more than 450 recipes on my app, all Fully Raw and vegan. My app is available for you on both iTunes and Google Play, and those links are below in the description for you. I'm gonna be using a food processor to make this recipe, and not just any food processor. I just got the food processor attachment for my Vitamix blender, and I have to tell you that I am in love with it. This is such a high quality machine. For those of you who haven't seen some of my recent videos, I was showing you how I just got the new A3500 from Vitamix, and why I love this blender so much is that it now has interchangeable accessories. So you can get the food processor attachment and you can interchange the blender head right here with the food processor attachment. So whenever I want, I can make a smoothie or if I wanna make a salsa, I can add the food processor attachment on top of this base as well. Now you can make a salsa in your blender head. It'll just come out a little bit more like a smoothie because I want some of those bigger textures. I want more of a chunky salsa for this, uh, for these recipes that I'm gonna be showing with you. I will be using a food processor and I just, I absolutely love this. This is 2.8 liters or it has a 12 cup capacity, which is fairly large and it comes with several different blades. You can get several different blades to interchange here so that you can make more than one kind of dish or you can, you know, chop your vegetables and fruits in different ways. It's just the best. This is one of my favorite new kitchen accessories and so I'm really excited to be using it today. For those of you who are interested in checking out my Vitamix blender with the blender head or even just the food processor attachment, I've included some links below for you where you can find those accessories. Also, some special deals from Vitamix may or may not be waiting below for you. If you use my special links, you'll get free shipping on your orders of $50 or more and enjoy. All right, so let's make some salsa. Are you ready? First up is our mango pineapple sweet and spicy salsa. This one is so good, it can be used as a gazpacho, a dip, a salad dressing. This one is a winner all around. For those of you who have a sweet tooth, this is the one for you as well. Let's get started. By the way, I do just wanna add that you could finely dice all of these ingredients and mix them in a bowl, but it would take you a lot more time. For the sake of more ease and less time, I'll be using a food processor for this recipe. When ready, go ahead and add into your food processor one cup of ripe pineapple, one to two cups of ripe mango, one cup of ripe cherry tomatoes, a half of one red onion, five to six fresh sprigs of cilantro, one tablespoon of chopped green onion, two cloves of garlic, I've got one small green bell pepper from my garden, and one red hot jalapeno from my garden as well, this is optional the juice of one lemon or lime squeezed, and pink salt and black pepper to taste. When ready, pulse your salsa until it reaches the consistency that you desire. I always start off slow and work my way up because I don't want my salsas to be soupy, I want them to be just right. 
Once your salsa is processed or mixed to perfection, you can pour it into any serving bowl of your choice. And voila, look at this delicious salsa. How good does this look? My mouth is watering. You can serve this up with fresh cucumbers, fresh greens, or any fresh veggies of your choice. Or for those of you who wanna just enjoy this as a bowl of gazpacho soup, you can do that too. Salsa number two, and I'm calling it La Picante. It is a classic tomato salsa, similar to something that would be like a pico de gallo, except for I'm adding in a little kick, and I think you're gonna love it. So when you're ready, go ahead and add into your food processor approximately three cups of cherry or grape tomatoes, ripe, one full cup or a large handful of fresh cilantro, one heaping tablespoon of green onion, half of one red onion, two cloves of garlic, optional one poblano pepper, optional one jalapeno pepper, the juice of one lime, and pink salt and black pepper to taste. When ready, go ahead and turn on your food processor and pulse it until this salsa reaches the texture or consistency that you desire. Yum! How delicious does this look? When your salsa's ready, go ahead and pour it into your favorite serving bowl of choice and you're ready to go. This salsa can be enjoyed with chips, fresh greens, or any veggies of your choice. It goes with everything. And last but not least, we're on to salsa number three, and this one is the spiciest of all, although you can leave out the spice if you'd like. This salsa is a spicy guac with lots of peppers, or you could call it a totally green goddess, chunky salsa, whatever we're gonna call it. It is thick, it's green, it's got lots of good textures in it. It'll remind you a little bit of guacamole, and it's spicy. If you don't want it to be spicy, simply leave out the jalapenos. When ready, go ahead and add into your food processor approximately four medium-sized ripe avocados pitted. Yes, this is for more than one person. If you wanna make it for just one person, you can scale it down to one avocado. But for this recipe, I'm making for multiple people, so I'm using four ripe avocados pitted, seeded, skins removed. One cup of chopped green onion, two heaping cups of chopped cilantro, or cilantro, five baby green bell peppers from my garden, two baby poblano peppers from my garden, one jalapeno pepper from my garden, add two to make it super spicy, three cloves of garlic, the juice of one lime, optional, and pink salt and black pepper to taste. Pulse this mixture until it takes on the texture that you desire. I like the salsa to be a bit more smoother, so I'll let this one go a little bit longer. I like this one to be creamy. When you're done processing, pour this mixture into your bowl of choice. Yum! This salsa right here will bring you to your knees. I am already so excited to dive in. Thank you all so much for joining me in this video today. If these salsa recipes have looked delectable to you, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button because there is only more yumminess to come. If you're interested in checking out more of my Fully Raw recipes, please download my app. It's available on iTunes and Google Play. Those links are below for you. And for those of you who are interested in getting a Vitamix with the amazing new food processor attachment, those links are below for you as well. Also, please keep in mind, I have some special links below for you in the description with some Vitamix deals that may or may not be happening right now. And if you use my link, you get free shipping on orders of $50 or more. Enjoy. All right, everyone, I'm gonna go and enjoy all of my delicious salsas that I just prepared, and I hope that you get to go and do the same. Can't wait to see you all in my next video. Sending you my hugs and my love. Bye.